Hi, it's me, Jazzy. I'm back with an update on my last video. So you might remember we took a look at the little buck converter unit that I got from AliExpress. Now, I didn't expect so much interest in this. I've had so many different comments and messages from people asking me to do a follow-up. So it's just a really quick video I've put together today to answer some of your questions. Now, a lot of people were asking if they could see the DC ripple on the oscilloscope. So yes, not a problem. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the linear power supply that I had hooked up to the little buck unit. So we'll take a look at the ripple of just the linear power supply. And then we'll take a look with the buck unit in place, see what difference there is in the noise. We'll also take a look at some alternative power solutions. So we'll look at a laptop power supply, which is a switch mode power supply. And we'll take a look at a generic phone charger and a battery bank with PD, as they're the most asked for things to try with this little back converter, as it has many, many different options for powering it up. So keep discussing in the comments down below, and you never know if there's enough interest in something I might even feature it in another video somewhere down the line. So bear in mind, these are not lab quality tests at all. It'll just give you a ballpark of some of the peak to peak readings of ripple and noise on these various power supplies. I'm using my trusty old Isotec 50 meg scope for this, so I might need my little calculator handy to work things out. Anyway, let's fire up the scope and have a look at this noise. Right, let's hook this up and we're going to have a look at the ripple on the scope. Ah, there it is. Brilliant. I needed a snack. Now let's hook up the linear power supply. Okay, so this is just the linear power supply back end. The XY6008A is disconnected. Okay, so we're on 20 millivolts per division. And this is the ripple on the linear back end power supply without the XY6008 attached. Right, so one division is 20 millivolts. So we're looking at just over 20 millivolts peak to peak on the ripple here. So let's hook up the XY6008 and see how much noise that puts out. Okay, so this is the XY6008 set to 10 volts, no load with the linear power supply back end that you saw in the first video so with the xy6008 attached you can see where the buck converter is switching and you can see we're looking at 20 40 60 just over 60 millivolts peak to peak of noise okay so you can see the start of one pulse to the next one is three divisions five microseconds per division so 5 10 15 microseconds so that works out at, what, uh, the 66.6 .6 kilohertz, roughly, frequency-wise. That's the switching frequency of the buck converter. Uh, so I've had my filming lights off in case it's causing any interference, but as you can see, when I turn them on, not really causing a problem. Right, so let's connect up our dummy load. See how much noise it adds when it's under load. Right, okay, put this up, right, I think we're good, right, switch on, okay, 10 volts, current limit is set to 6 amps, right, let's slide this down to increase the load, six amps, then obviously I can't go any more than 6 amps. 6 amps is about all this dummy load will take. There you go. Yeah, you can see the spike's quite large now. Under load, running at 6 amps. 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 140-ish millivolts peak to peak. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect from the linear supply and swap out the back end so we can try something different. So I'm going to disconnect that one. So first up is the laptop power supply, as one of my viewers suggested trying it on a laptop power supply, which I think is a really great idea. This is a Delta Electronics, just a random supply, which is 19.5 volts, 9.23 amps. Right, so we're going to run this up on this laptop power supply, which is a switch mode power supply, just to see if it makes any difference to the noise it's putting out.
there we go so 10 volts so this is on the laptop power supply and we're looking at just over 20 millivolts per division peak to peak probably about 25 ish so it's added probably near enough five millivolts over the linear power supply. not a great deal of difference but it's quite a neat convenient way of running this i can see why you would want to do that all right let's ask it for 20 volts and it's given us 18.85 so it's about the max you can get out of one of these yeah 19.85 in and 18.8 yeah just under a volt drop so surprisingly not a great deal noisier than using the linear power supply okay so what we're going to try next is a standard phone fast charger which is capable of five volts at up to three amps just standard generic phone charging plug commonly known as a wall watt right i am suspecting this is going to be rather noisy right so we're not going to get a great deal out of this we've got 5.1 volts coming in so let's set it to four volts and just see what the noise is like shall we so here we go got our four volts yeah so not as noisy as i expected roughly about the same as the laptop power supply really just over 20 millivolts peak to peak right so we've got a pd capable battery bank here right so now this is nice and easy because we have usb c on the back right this battery bank's capable of up to 12 volts on pd so let's see what we can do with that so if you're away from the bench you're out in the field somewhere you need a dc power supply what's coming in is 11.8 volts okay let's see if we can get 10. yeah 10 volts 10 volts 11.78 coming in 10 volts out so what does the scope say in terms of noise running off a battery pack let's have a look okay so i've changed the scope to 10 millivolts with this one otherwise you wouldn't see anything but we're still peak to peak roughly about 20 millivolts maybe just over so not much difference noise wise but very convenient if you're not near a power supply so in conclusion linear power supply and battery pack don't add any noise to the xy6008 but on a laptop adapter which is a switch mode power supply in its own right adds about five millivolts roughly to the noise well there you go i hope that's answered some of your questions regarding alternative power sources for this little converter unit and also about the noise and the ripple on the output now i'm quite surprised actually the amount of interest in this little unit from aliexpress always enjoy reading through all your comments i think it's really great to share ideas in electronics quite often somebody will come up with a great idea that i think why didn't i think of that or vice versa so sharing of ideas always love that concept so there we go our little buck converter unit i'm going to put this one to use powering some of my studio lights now so it's going to come in very handy so thanks for watching today hope that's answered some of your questions and i will be back soon with another tech related video in the meantime take care and i'll see you on the next one